what gets my attention the most is how hard they work. And, um, you know, I know Coach Julie uh, from back at our, our days in the Big South, we went against each other, and I was at Winthrop as a head coach. So she runs a, a well-oiled machine, a very good program. I have great respect for what she does. Uh, they're going to get up and down the floor. They love to transition. They drive the ball very well, and they shoot the three. So um, they do a lot of things very, very well and at a high level, and she's transitioned them into Division One very nicely. And um, you know, it'll be a very formidable opponent for us tomorrow afternoon. Before this break, you talked about how practice, play, it's all kind of like a professional team. How has that been for this team? Yeah, so we're just really getting into it now, getting back from break, and the next three weeks uh, we'll get more into that piece. And, you know, it's exciting. You know, all they have to focus on is, is basketball right now, and it's a great time of year. Conference plays starting here next week, and I think they're just really excited about it. We are getting that more individual time with them and more time to connect and talk about what we could do this year. and. and the excitement surrounding the program. You know, I just got off the road recruiting. I've been traveling around some, and just the excitement in airports and gyms and across across the places that we're going, and people just respecting and appreciating the transition that's taken place. And it's a, as a result of their hard work, and I share that with them and want them to continue to be excited about it. We know that we have a big task ahead of us here as we start conference play, and uh, that's what you want. You want to be at this level, and you want to be challenged and have those opportunities night in and night out. With this last game before Big 12s, what kinks do you want to work out? Yes, for us, it's a very good tune-up game. I mean, they're, uh, as I said, a well-oiled machine, and they just, they're coming off a loss at Florida Gulf Coast, but we all know Florida Gulf Coast goes to the tournament every single year, and they battled them until probably the last four minutes of that game, so the final score wasn't real indicative of the outcome there. And for us, it's um, that we see that, that next step. I mean, this is the final tune-up before conference play. We want to be sharp. We want to we want to look sharper in areas. We want to be able to you know handle their pressure. They're going to press most of the game. We want to be able to handle that at a high level. We know that the Big 12 is going to do the same thing. And um, just making sure that, that we're making those steps uh, forward each and every game. Right now, with school being out, that's what our main focus is. Just getting in the gym, getting up extra shots, uh, really just dialing in on what is to come in the season with Big 12 literally being next week. Uh, so everyone's really just been getting in the gym, being productive, working on their game, and trying to get better. With Big 12 starting next week, what are the final kinks you want to work out in the game tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's going to be a great test for what we're going to see, uh, especially against Oklahoma and the games after. Uh, these girls can shoot the ball. They also can drive really well, and they're very composed, and they're very fundamental. So that's what we're going to see day in and day out when it comes to Big 12 play. And I feel like tomorrow's going to be a great test for that. Uh, we have to make sure that we dial it in on defense and we stick to our principles and just offensively let everything just flow. Let the game come to us, and let's not try to just pull the needle and try to do things that we're not used to, just play our game. How important, I mean, clearly you guys aren't looking by past anybody, but how important is it to finish off non-conference on a positive note? Um, it's very important to finish off non-con on a positive note. Um, we are finishing right now with a very, very great non-conference record, um, better than last year. And it's something that is really important to have going into conference. And so um, Abilene Christian is going to be a great game. It's going to be a great test for us. So we need to make sure that we're focused um, all in. Meeting the win total from last year, just how does this year feel different for you being through everything so far? Uh, the culture is a lot different than last year. Um, playing with these girls, everyone comes into work uh, ready to give all they have, and that's why we're so prepared for games, and it shows in games. So uh, this year is definitely a lot different than last year, and it shows out there whenever we compete against our opponents, and I'm excited to see what's to come. Um, they're hard-nosed, they're very fundamental, um, they just do what they're supposed to do. So they crash the boards, shoot well, so we're just going to have to outplay them and outwork them as well. You guys have obviously uh, improved immensely uh, over last year. Mm -hmm. How important is it to keep that going tomorrow, kind of finish off non-con on a good note going into Big 12 play? I think it's super important. I think it'll give us a lot of confidence for um, Big 12 season and um, just give us a lot of, like, well, they're a really good team, so it'll be really good to have a good one against them. What are the final kinks you want to work out in your game before Big 12 starts? Um, I guess just getting started, like, as soon as the tip ball. I feel like sometimes I have a slow start, so that would be the main thing.